You're looking worrying and relaxed. Take it Nicola's not with you. Do you need something? Well, I just hope she's busy funneling her energies into the residence action group. You know, waging a war against drugs. She's at some bigwig council summit. Great, so she's on it then. Because I keep smelling weed everywhere and the kids are even asking what it is now. I'm sure it's on the list. The never-ending list. Good. And she's not drafted you in then yet, Douglas? Not as yet, no. Well, that's a shame. I thought it'd be perfect for your skill set. Surprised she hadn't already tooled you up with a taser and a sniffer, Doug. Well, he's not been that good, has he? With his back. How's it been? Oh, you know, pretty painful. Brenda's bullied me into going back to the doctors. Waste of time, if you ask me, but anything for a quiet life. Well, yeah, we all want one of them, don't we? Which is why it is imperative that your missus cleans up the mean streets of Emmerdale. And I am talking zero tolerance policy. And we hunt them down like dogs. Yeah. Have you forgiven him? Believing you. Well, he didn't have much choice, did he? I mean, they locked him up, so... Yeah, for smuggling lorry loads of drugs through customs. OK, so he made some bad decisions. But what I do know is whatever he did, he did it for us. He's my dad, and I love him. And I want him around, for me, for Lucas. I want him to have a proper granddad. Oh, thank God you've got that chance. Not all of us have that privilege. Oh, no, Tracy, I didn't mean that... Hey! Is everything OK? Oh, I wish everyone would stop asking me that. No, everything is not OK. It never has been. It's just one big, awful mess. <sighs> and then I see you and Johnny and Charity and I think... Why didn't I have that? What was so wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. That's how it felt. My own dad left me. I mean, what was I supposed to think? I am not going to defend him. He was a terrible parent. But you don't have to rely on dad for your happiness. You're your own person. But I wanted him. I wanted a dad. And I've spent my whole life overcompensating, doing stuff I didn't want to do because deep, deep down, I didn't feel good enough. Hey. You are brilliant, Tracy. Despite everything you've been through, or maybe even because of it. You know, you're kind, you're funny, you're wise. Wise? You are. You're like an old soul, you. Like a right old granny. <laughs> Bad stuff happens all the time. And there's nothing we can do about it. It's just the way you deal with it that matters. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, um, yeah, we can do that. OK, thanks for letting us know. Um, Dad's ashes are ready to be picked up. And they rang you? Of course they did. Please, let's not do that again. Um, what are we going to do with them? No, Tracy, what do you, what do you want to do with them? I don't care. Uh, maybe we could scatter them in the, in the churchyard or, or in, the, in the woods or something. Or the pawn shop. Or the pub or the prison, seeing as though he's so fond of them. Tracy. I don't know why I tried to defend him. He pretended he'd changed, but it was all lies. He never cared about us. He never cared about anyone but himself. I had to have a chat 